Ronin Pawn! Hello, I am the Ronin Pawn, and this is Hardcore Pawn, and I shall not be deterred. Okay, last time I completely screwed pretty much everything up uh, with the satellite positioning in orbit around moon mission which we still have here launch new unmanned probe that has an antenna and then go to the place that we want you to go I, d I did that um backwards i went in the wrong direction around them. it's it's you know go back and watch the video it was it was hilariously horrible but i will not be deterred we're gonna finish that contract today so i have retrofitted the twofer this is now the twofer mark ii uh with a ant liquid fuel engine it's a wee engine it's probably not supposed to be attached like that or to that decoupler or done this way at all. Gonna be incredibly unstable, is my guess, but, um, you know, I just had to screw this one up somehow, right? Gene wants us to test the ant engine in a suborbital trajectory over the moon between 10 and 16 kilometers. So we just have to pretend like we're crashing into the moon, which is easy for me, do it all the time. Uh, the difficult part will be then not. Houston, this is the two for Mark II, and I'm hoping there's not a Mark III. We're ready to launch. Can you give me a lift off, a countdown, please? Uh, Pawn, before you go, I was talking to one of the lab coats in R&D, uh, Ben Grogan, maybe you know him? Sounds familiar, is he from the YouTube comment section? No. Okay, go on with your little story. Said you may have missed a couple of opportunities to gather science. How so? I've been very thorough, Houston. Each one of these buildings at the KSC apparently has its own biome. What? Yeah, I don't, I don't know, he was saying something about the topsoil having absorbed different it's bio waste and chemicals that we apparently spill and dump all over the place where we're building rockets. Apparently out back at the Space Center, there's something that smells real bad where we used to have the port -loo. Okay, okay, Houston, that's, uh, that's all the information I need. So gather science from the buildings is what you're saying. Yeah, that'd be a good idea. Okay, we will do that while we're on our way to the moon. In three, two, one, fire. <laughs> This spaceflight brought to you by the Scatterer Mod, Scatterer, atmospheric scattering for all your scatterish needs. This is where I leave you, little twofer. Let me know when you get to the moon, cause I gotta go build a thing that can somehow hop from building to building, gather all the science around the KSC without wheels or jet engines. Cause I haven't, I didn't buy plane parts. Oh shoot, I should have bought plane parts. Okay, floaty, hovery, VTOL, hopper, thingamajigger without wheels or electric engines or, huh. Sure, this'll... this'll be easy. Okay, now, Josel, I know what you're thinking, but this is entirely safe. Okay, we have tested this, we've put it through the rigors, uh, these have a very high impact tolerance, as do these, uh, you know, you're wrapped in, in impact tolerance safety zone, butter, goodness. First things first, though, gonna need to, uh, take some science, Josel, if you don't mind, observe that mystery goo, check that materials bay, and how's the temperature out today? KSC tour stop number 5 of 31, welcome to the launch pad. Ding! Wow, that's actually worth some pretty good science there, Joselle. Get back in the ship. We've got a lot, and, you know, we've got to sort of test this thing and find out whether or not you die 
in it. Like, straight off the bat. F5, pawn, F5. Okay, should be simple enough to pilot. Just gonna open the engines now and throttle them up until, uh, until we get some goey uppy thrusty. Come on. Come on, Delta V me off the ground. There we go, that's what I want. And then we're just gonna, no, no, wrong way, wrong way. Okay, a little bit more goey uppy. Oh, no, 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 there we go, there we go. Nope, nope, Josel, no, Josel. You have ruined my designs. You have ruined all of my designs. Don't worry, I made it so that it, it, it it's, uh, it flips right back up on its own. Um, it's just, it's, there's a certain, I made it in, it's, 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 no, I didn't, I didn't do that. Well, Josel, uh, you've already screwed me over. Remove the data and then restore the goo container because you're a scientist and can do these sorts of things. Oh, Josel, Josel, don't tell me that you're not close enough to the, to the science container that you can't reach it. Come on now. Come on now, Josel, you lying, thieving KSC Tour Stop number 3 of 31, welcome to the Crawler Way. Yeah, that's, uh, that's great. We've already been to the Crawler Way, Josel. What are you doing? But we never got thermometer readings. The thermometer gets crushed under the wheels of the crawler. Oh, well, time for some snacks. Sure, sure. And there's a little science left in the goo. The goo accumulates near the water-facing side of the container. Sure it does. Sure it does. Come on. Damn it. Curses, Josel. You can't get close enough to take the data out of or reset the science junior. Um... Yep, I'm bone and hosed and boned. Okay, so this design is strong. This design is strong, everybody. I just, uh, we just need to tweak it a little bit. Gonna go back to the VAB and, uh, and make it better. Somehow. Pretty much anything I do at this point would make it better. Hello, 5.4 science earned. Okay, and money and Jocel. Good, we're, we're doing fine here. We are doing fine. Uh, hope that other craft hasn't made its way to the moon while we weren't looking. Yeah, I don't want four times symmetry. I, two times is what I'm going for there. Two times symmetry would be grand. Can I get some two times symmetry? Yeah, that's... No, that's... Come on, come on now. Wheat Thresher version two on the pad. Ready to go. Um, everything's fixed now. It'll be... It'll be fine. I just gotta grab the, uh, the Science Junior data from the crawler way, and then we can play, um, hide-and-go-seek with the, uh, with the rest of the science data here at the KSC. Whoa, 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 whoa there, whoa there, whoa there, Nelly. There you go, right down on top of the, no, no, don't tip over again, don't, we know that this is a thing you can do, Josel, you don't need to prove. Oh, crap. Could use a little more SAS on the craft, definitely, definitely could do with that. This is just from the KSC, this isn't specifically the tracking station, even though we landed on the roof. Okay. Hey, I will take it. 4.5 science. Jeez, maybe that'll get us, uh, you know, an SAS unit that will make this in some way safe. This is our space center here. We're home. Ah, 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 you can reach it. You can reach it. Collect the data. Yep. And restore. Oh, you're brilliant, love. You're brilliant. Okay, the ship design works except for the whole, you know, it falling over bit. That in, the, in that way, there there may be an error. Josel, ow, sorry, didn't mean to do that. Um, is there any, like, special data for you standing on the roof of the... No, no. Truly a very tiny step for Kerbal Kind. We haven't even let the KSC. Okay, come on. Come on now. Come on, surely there's enough SAS in this tiny, whiny little probe. There's enough reaction... W yeah, probably not. <sighs> Could somebody get the crane? 7.3 science added to the catalog, and if we can just get 1.3 more science, then we will be able to afford another tier B. Summon my strength, I must. Flight 3, Josel, find us 1.3 science somewhere out there. Somewhere over the rainbow. No, no, Josel, no. No, okay, we're safe though. We're safe because of reasons. Because of reasons, we are safe. Oh, Jesus hell, Josel, that was that was a costly and dangerous maneuver there, but we are on the crawler way now, and uh, I believe I came here for the express purpose of, oh God, of getting the data out of the, can you get the data if you just pop out? You are a scientist, can't exit because the hatch is obstructed, Jesus Christ. The probe is gone, so there's no means of controlling you, Josel. Hey, you're not dead. And I consider that, like, huge. Huge. You know what? This is a dangerous and deadly game we're playing, Josel. I think, uh, 
I think maybe we wait until we have parts that make sense for this. However, perhaps it has succeeded in being a curious diversion in the middle of a mission that we had to run twice because I screwed it up the first time. Now you see what he was doing. Now you, now you get what I was on about. Okay, welcome back to the Twofer Mark II destination, Moon. We're coming at it in the wrong direction. Again, need to be on the other side, so, uh, maneuvers, maneuvers. Lots of, lots of fuel, don't worry, we can do this. Well, we could do this if we had any electric charge left. Thankfully, uh, I have made these errors many, many times before, so, uh, status locked. What do, what do you mean, locked? What, what, huh? I can't open it? I can't open it unless I've got power in order to open it? Cause that's, that makes perfect sense. Locked. Okay, I've got, I've got electricity in here. I have got it. Watch this. Electric charge, boom, and then boom. Ha, sucker. You thought I needed to get in there? I don't need to get in there. However, I'm not going to leave those locked anymore. Let's open all of those, and let's point those solar panels at the sun, because that's where the energy comes from, Paul. Really? Yeah. We have a periapse at the moon again, and this time we're going in the direction that we're supposed to be going. Hoorah! And lots of liquid fuel left. Okay, burn hard, apwaps, periapse, line them up. Oh, KSP. Sometimes you're just gorgeous. Most of the times you're just gorgeous. There's 621 and 594. 594 and 621. Do I have any bits? Any bits? Anyone want to raise the price? I think I've got to be a job. I've got to be a job. I've got to be a job. I've got to be There is always the option we can just stay like this. I mean, we've created the 1950s idea of what an atom is. Plane change is complete, more or less, ish, okay? Did sort of break the apoaps and periaps. Don't worry, got lots and lots of fuel. Lots of, lo lots, lots of, lots of fuel, lots of fuel. Kind of curious to find out what the margin of error actually is on these satellite missions because we've got our periaps at 593, falling a little bit, and our apwaps coming down to, I'm going to set it at about 613, that's what we're going for anyway, 670, 6.5, 6.432, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 613, okay, we've got a 613, periaps needs to come up. How close are we though on this thing because I have... I'll launch the thing and I've got to reach the designated orbit around within marginal deviation and maintain sta stability for 10 seconds. Ho! Ho! I'm stable! I'm stable! Yes! Yes! We've done it! We cleared that contract! We have cleared that contract! Alright! High five, man! It took you two attempts, but you managed to clear the contract. And I still have two satellites in lunar orbit that can do other satellite contracts if they happen to come out at the moon. I don't know how this works, but that's why I wanted to bring both of them out. Also, we still have to test the ant, the LV-1 ant, suborbital at between 10 to 16 kilometers at the moon. So we gotta pretend like we're gonna crash into the moon and then, um, and then not actually crash into the moon. I can do that. I can do that. F5. You know what? Let's extend our antenna, I'm not sure if they stay open. I hope you will stay open because I think uh, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna leave this one where it is in orbit there. Okay, so you can stay high, and we're gonna take the little tiny babby one low. And I know the ant has an incredibly low thrust to weight ratio here, but you know I've got all day. But, uh, it may take all day. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Look at the power on that. <laughs> The ant, um, about as functional as, uh, you know, taco night. How we doing on dropping that periaps? It's coming down. 
It's going up. It's going... Did I burn in the wrong direction? Apparently I burned in the wrong direction. I didn't realize we were going in... Okay, um, right. Reverse wrap round of the moon. My bad. My bad. Don't worry, we've got lots more burritos. That's just rude. That's just rude, doing that right into the face of... 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 soul. Periaps, set to the right height. Let's go to it and do things. Things are great. I love things. Oh, God. Yeah, let's definitely, let's go to our periaps quickly. <coughs> Coming up on the periaps, gonna start burning now, because it takes a while to get that, uh, you know, release that methane or whatever it is. We have a very tight little orbit right around the surface of the moon, but we need to be suborbital in order to complete this mission, so I need to actually push our periaps down into the surface of the moon. So burn hard, make her done, do it. Okay, we are suborbital, suborbital trajectory, we're at the right place, it loves me, it's always loved me. I'm just gonna do that, and I'm gonna hit space a couple of times, and I'm gonna hit space a couple of times, and I'm gonna hit space a couple of times, and eventually that's gonna test the, test the engine. Test it, test it, come on, come on. I've tested this before. Run the test, run the test. Oh, I just right click and run the test. Oh, well that's easier. We did it! We did it! The ant has been tested! Okay, quickly, don't crash this into, into the moon because this could be a helpful little thing to have out here at some point. Probably not, but it could be uh, eventually. I don't know. Let's get nap waps again. Let's get it, okay, 20 and 9. No, let's let's have it nice and tight. Let's have it nice and low. This one will be our, our low um, orbital satellite, okay? Our low moon orbit satellite. We did it, we cleared both of those missions. You know how much money it's gonna get us? I'll tell you just as soon as I put this thing back into the orbit that I wanted in. 10.7 and 10.9, that is a nice stable moonar orbit to have a very efficient satellite that has 35 units of liquid fuel in it. We could go anywhere from here. We could go to Minmus with this. Oh my God, do I have contracts for Minmus? Holy pooples, peoples, we've got 608,000 off of clearing those two missions, and both of my missions are empty, and we've got a mission for Flyby Minmus, and, um, and, um, position a satellite in a specific order of Minmus, oh my god, we're doing that in the next episode of KSP Hardcore Pawn. I am the Ronin Pawn, and I'm moon hopping. Aw, oh, shoot, I gave you the name of the next episode. Born out. Oh, shoot, that expires in 31 minutes. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it.